Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. We have here a patient who attended with fully blocked ears, and I'm just commencing with this there right here first. Now, I did ask the patient whether they had been poking inside their ears or whether they wear uh, a hearing aid or any sort of um, earplug, either to protect their ears from water or um, noise defenders. And the reason why I asked that, you can see just to the right of the wax plug, there's an indentation. So it just had that appearance that it had been something I'd pushed in. Um, but the patient advised that wasn't the case. Um, so I started off with the suction. I'm now using a Jobson horn. I'm trying to get in and behind. But this plug of wax and also dead skin, it's expanded. And it's right up against the canal wall. So in a moment, I'm going to use a St. Bart's ear hook. I'm going to glide over the top of the roof and embed the tip into the core. The core of this wax plug was a bit softer. So as I was coming away, it was cutting through the wax plug as opposed to um, just simply removing it. Um, sometimes though, just dissecting the wax plug into smaller pieces does help. We can go in with the vacuum and suction that away. But in this case, again, I can just see an opportunity to, once I remove this out of the way to continue using the ear hook, trying to prise this out of the ear. So I'm just going posteriorly to the back part of the ear canal. Um, one of the questions we get asked quite a lot in clinic um, is what is earwax and how is it formed? And I suspect if I'm getting asked that a lot in the clinic, then it's going to be a question that a lot of viewers uh, may also have. Um, I generally, um, during the course of my videos, may have explained it without knowing, but I thought, let me just give a, a proper explanation. So earwax is a completely natural, healthy substance um, secreted by mammals. It's also secreted by some other um, uh, animals, so uh, dogs and cats, for example. And its function is believed to help to protect the ear canal uh, from uh, bacteria and fungi because earwax is slightly acidic and the acidity helps to inhibit fungal and uh, bacterial growth, or should I say harmful bacteria and fungal growth. So our ear canal itself has got um, what we call skin flora. It's a, an ecosystem, if you like, um, living on the skin of the ear canal. And that's made up of uh, multiple strains of bacteria and fungi. These are healthy fungus and bacteria, and they protect the ear from more dangerous strains of bacteria and fungus. Um, earwax also, it, typically it's quite greasy and oily, and that helps to moisturize and lubricate the skin. So it helps to prevent the skin from drying and cracking. It helps the skin to retain its internal moisture and fluid. And earwax is sticky. So any foreign particles, dust, uh, pollen that may enter the ear, it sticks to the wax. And for the majority of us, earwax naturally comes out of the ear. Um, so the skin that lines the ear canal, as it dies and sheds, it moves sideways out of the ear like a conveyor belt. Approximately... 1.5 to 3 millimeters a month, uh, same rate as our fingernail growth. And as the skin, as this conveyor bit of skin comes out of the ear, uh, any wax sitting on the surface is also extracted. So what is earwax? What makes it? So earwax is a combination of exfoliated dead skin cells. That's the majority of wax. And that amalgamates and blends in with two substances. The first one is sebum. So sebum is a very viscous oily, fatty, lipid secretion um, secreted by the sebaceous glands, which are connected to the hair follicles um, of the hairs that protrude out of the cartilaginous portion of the ear canal. So sebum is um, made up of organic com compounds. So cholesterols, for example, alcohol, squalenes, and long chains of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Um, and also... It's made up of an oily, le uh, less viscous, should I say, um, more watery type of oily sweat. And that's secreted by the sebaceous gland. It's the same sweat that we secrete in our inner groin area and also under our armpits. And so the combination of this oily sweat secreted by the uh, ceremonious gland, sebum secre secreted by the sebaceous glands and exfoliated dead skin cells and loose debris and hair, all bind together to form earwax. Um, as you can see on both sides, um, there's a comp this wax plug had a higher concentration of dead skin and it was deeply lodged. Maybe signs of some keratosis obtrans in this there left ear. If you look where we are now, 
you can see the ear canal is quite red and there's some evidence that this skin plug was expanding and starting to compress against the canal walls and um, that's uh, at this stage a grade one keratosis of trans if that skin plug expanded further and it further widened the ear canal and there was some pain we would classify that as a class two uh, a class three when there's moderate expansion um, and also some granulation tissue uh, present in the midsection of the ear canal and grade four it's when the ear canal is extremely uh, widened to the point where it's hard to distinguish between the ear canal and also the mastoid bone, which is the bone behind the ear canal. So it's expanding that much. It's forced itself into and merged into the, the mastoid bone. I'm just mopping up using a fine end to some dead skin here. Uh, patient has got quite a bendy ear, so we're going to have to just uh, rotate the endoscope to get a full view. But the eardrum's nice and healthy. But I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.